Hello, everyone, and welcome to MSK Unknown Case Series, case number 50. I can't believe we're already at number 50. Uh, before I begin, please subscribe to this channel on the MedEV page. Please support our mission to pass on this knowledge to everyone free all across the globe. So this is case number 50. We have two views of the elbow. And the question that I have is, what's the most likely diagnosis? Is this an osteochondroma, post-traumatic changes, supracondylar process, or osteosarcoma? What's the most likely diagnosis here? If we come back to the two images, what we see here is we have this osseous excrescence that's coming off of the distal humeral metadiaphysis, okay? Pretty much the diaphysis, right? It's the distal aspect of the diaphysis. This is along the medial aspect of the distal humeral diaphysis. And uh, this is in a characteristic, very characteristic location. This is known as a supracondylar process, also known as an avian spur, okay? Uh, this is not an osteosarcoma because although an osteosarcoma is a bone forming tumor and it produces bone, there are no aggressive features here, right? There is nothing, there's no periosteal reaction, no Codman's triangle, no uh, soft tissue mass associated with this. This is just an osseous excrescence that uh, is coming off at this location. This is not post-traumatic changes because I haven't given you any history of trauma. And also this is in a very characteristic location along the distal aspect of the uh, medial humeral diaphysis. And I'll explain why this is not an osteochondromal, which would be the most pertinent differential diagnosis for this case. So this is an avian spur or no, also known as a supracondylar process. It's a normal variant. It's seen in you know, one to 2% of the normal population. It's always five centimeters proximal to the medial humeral condyle, and it points towards the, the elbow joint. And that's an important consideration when we talk about osteochondromas, that this actually points towards the joint. And you should know about something known as a ligament of Struthers. A ligament of Struthers is a ligament that may join this process to the medial humeral condyle. And because this ligament exists, this can impinge certain structures such as the median nerve and the brachial artery, and this can result in symptoms. If the ligament of Struthers gets you know, enlarged or thickened or it just impinges on the median nerve, it can certainly result in uh, symptoms related to median nerve entrapment. So, which is why this is an important diagnosis to know. But once you've seen it, you've seen them all of them because they all look pretty much exactly the same. Now, this is not an osteochondroma, even though this is an osseous excrescence. And the reason why is because it meets none of the three criteria for an osteochondroma. An osteochondroma is typically metaphyseal. This, remember, was diaphyseal. It was the distal aspect of the diaphysis. You may have been confused. Maybe you thought it was metaphyseal. But even if you did, well, it's not pointing away from the joint. Osteochondromas that are metaphyseal typically point away from the joint. Remember, this was pointing towards the joint, right? It was pointing towards the elbow joint. And the last criteria is is that, you know, osteochondromas typically have medullary continuity with the bone. If you were to pretend that you had a glass of milk and you put it in the osteochondroma, it would flow into the medullary cavity of the parent bone. That's not the case with an avian spur or a supracondylar process. You, it, it, there is no medullary continuity with the bone. It's really an osteochondromal stressence coming off of the bone shaft. So nice example of an avian spur or a supracondylar process uh, normal variant that we typically see in some patients. Thank you so much for your attention. Tune in next week for another MSK unknown case.